All right, gang, today we are building some gliders. And you can see here uh, some of the gliders that I've built in the past. A lot of these are based off of models that I saw on Thingiverse. Um, and as you look at these, you want to notice a couple of things. First of all, they have really big, flat wings. Gliders need big wings because they are lightweight. They're not powered by anything else. So they're going to look a little bit different than a normal airplane. Um, also, you want to really thin, small. This is the fuselage or the, the body part of the plane. That needs to be thin, needs to be small. Not too small or too thin, otherwise it'll break, but a, a reasonable size there. Um, you'll want front wings, rear wings, and some sort of stabilizer back here as well. And you can see this design here actually has the stabilizer that you can input later. Um, and thinking about how we're going to launch these things, if you want to make it rubber band powered, then you might need some sort of launcher. This one's designed to fit in there after it prints, something like that, to let it launch. So building one can be fairly simple. I'm going to actually start with some wings. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use a rounded roof for the wings. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and then make it really thin. I'm going to actually go down as thin as I can, which is one millimeter. Now, I'm going to get it on the surface there. One millimeter is actually not really even thin enough for these, or at least for the inside part of the wings. We want them to be thinner than that. So what I can do is I can actually just type in the, the, the height that I want. I'm going to do 0 0.5. That's half of a millimeter there. So there we go. I got some half millimeter wings right there. And you know what? I'm going to... Eh, we'll leave them just like that. Those are fine. You can cut the top off or whatever you want. Um, for the, the body or the fuselage, uh, let's do a cylinder. We're going to make it super thin. Eh, about three millimeters thick. And we'll do three by three. And then nice and long. Oh, I think I changed my dimensions there. All right. Now, a lot of these airplanes have a thicker leading edge for the wing there. That makes them a little sturdier, and it lets the, the air move over them a little cleaner, too. So they won't, they won't wobble around as much. So to do that, I'm just going to make a copy of this. Make it thicker. Go up to, well, let's go to one millimeter. Make another copy. Of, well, actually, I'll copy this one. Make it a hole. And there we go. You can see how I'm going to get the leading edge here. I'm just going to make that a little smaller there. All right. I can group those two together. And there's my edge. All right. You'll notice it's not lined up yet. I'll show you how to do that in just a second to make sure everything is balanced. All right. Let's group those two together. Perfect. And for the, the rear wings, I'm just going to duplicate that, move them back here, and make them way smaller. Voila, rear wings. Okay, now's a good time to make sure everything's lined up. I'm going to use my align tool, which is right up here. I'm going to drag a box, click and drag a box around everything I want to align. And then I just click on the Align tool, and it asks, which way do you want to align it? Do you want to align it this way or that way? I want to align it this way, right in the middle there. So now everything should be lined up. There we go. Looking good. Okay, so that right there is a very simple glider. Oh, I would, I would at least want to add a stabilizer as well. Go about one millimeter thick. Put it right there. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure we align that too. I'm going to align all these things over again. Oh, I already got it aligned. I was lucky. Perfect. All right, so there's my simple glider. Now, if I wanted to add some sort of launcher for it, I could... Let's see. How do we want to do this? How about this guy? Will this work? Maybe. Mm. 
What am I doing here? Just cut the top off of that. How about that? And we'll group those two together. Okay. It kind of looks like the cockpit there. Just make sure it's aligned. That looks good. And now I can actually attach my rubber band right here when I pull it back and launch it. Or is that thing backwards? Yeah, that's backwards. Let's turn it around. Sometimes you have to move around to avoid getting click on the number there. There we go. Nope, <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. So now I put my rubber band right there, pull back, and release. All right, so there's a simple glider. You can get as detailed as you want. You can add cool colors. You can add cool designs. This one was designed to have the rubber bands fit down in there. Might be a little too small for that. Um, you can customize it, add text to it. Let's see this one over here. This is Shore Aeronautics on the back. However you'd like. And that's how we build a glider.